Hello everyone, it's Lucas. Today I'll be doing a full review of the LEGO Series 14 minifigures. Stay tuned till the end of the video because I'll be giving away two of these really cool figures to one of you lucky viewers. Going in no particular order, let's start out with the werewolf. You can see he has some dual molded legs with the sand blue and the gray color. And I can always tell with the dual molded legs when there's like a little arch there that goes over the um, bottom of the legs. He has printing on the arms there with some like white little plaid design. He has more of that plaid design on his torso and then lots of like ripped things, lots of printed designs that make it look like his clothes are all ripped up. And then he's carrying a very large bone there. His head piece doesn't have a minifigure head under it, just one big piece. Good to feel for when you're trying to look for this guy. And he has a very big tail there. Um, you can either put it up or down, but it's kind of like the Tiger Ladies and Scratchies from The Simpsons where you just fit it in between the legs and the torso. The next one I'm going to do is the Gargoyle. The Gargoyle is a very cool figure. I think he'll be very popular. You can see there's some wings there, and that's more of a solid plastic. There's not no rubbery feel to it, but those are good to feel for in the packages. And he's the only figure with the little mini legs, so that's also good to feel for. You can see there's printing all around his arms and the back of his headpiece. No printing on the back of the torso or legs. But lots of printing there on the front of the torso to represent that stone effect. And it really, really does look like that he's made of concrete. Cool headpiece there. Lots and lots of printing on the face. And if we pop off that headpiece, you can see that there's even more printing there above his eyes. The next figure I have here is the Mad Scientist. You can see there's some splatters of his concoction there all over his torso. Um, he has the dual molded legs there. Can show you in the back with the white and then the black and also dual molded arms to show the um like very thick uh black lab gloves and then he's holding a little concoction there with a fly on it and this could have been the concoction that turned this minifig into a fly because if you think about it if there's a fly on there and this minifigure drank it that could have been what turned him into a fly but anyways, let's keep going. You can see there's some more printing there on the torso and legs to represent like a belt there and then some straps to keep his lab coat together. And that huge headpiece isn't just one big headpiece. If we pop this off, you can see this headpiece there has some goggles and just like some plastics all molded together. And then under there, he kind of looks like Albert Einstein, which is kind of funny. Speaking of the fly monster, let's move on to him. You can see there's a big headpiece there with like some trance red in there, all inside and the outside's kind of like a soft black plastic. You can see the wings there on the back, and those are kind of more harder plastic too, not very rubbery. On the front of his torso, there's some printing there on his chest, and then kind of carried down into the legs. And if you look really closely, you can see some little green speckles and spots all over him. You can see he has one of his hands is like a red claw. He has some antennas on the top of his headpiece, and then a regular hand on the other side. Now let's move on to the Wacky Witch. You can see that headpiece there, the hair, and the um, hat there is one big piece. The hair's kind of all in the back, then the hat has like a little patch there on the front and curves over at the end. Um, let's just bring that back to the front, and you can see her skin is a very uh, bright green color for the hands and face. Lots of patches all over. She has the purple dress there, and there's um, uh, like some white and black stripes under the dress. You can see she has a brown belt with like the silvery color belt buckle, and she comes with the big broom, and she also comes with this little black cat. Take a closer look at that. And then there's just the tail, just a classic Lego cat. Now let's go to the plant monster. This is actually a plant, and the plant monster actually ate a minifig. You can see the terrified face in there. But I think, I think he gets back out a few days later. The plant spits him up, I read that in the bio. And there's some, some printing on the back there to represent some vines. He also comes with some vines there. They're kind of rubbery. You can see, and then lots of printing on the front. Carries down on the torso, then onto the legs, then onto the side of the legs, then all the way onto the toe. That's pretty impressive there. You can see there's a lighter pink color for inside the mouth of the plant monster, and then a darker, darker pink on the like 
inner side other than the tongue. Then there's some more like a little bit of a texture there on the back of the plant monster's head. Now let's do the skeleton guy. He is my favorite figure. Um, lots of printing all over him. There's kind of like some 360 printing there to represent his mask that goes all the way around his head, has a little knot, and all the way back to the front of the mask. You can see his bones look like they're actually made up of Lego pieces, which I find is really cool. And he also comes with that little um, jack-o'-lantern trick-or-treat bag, which I think is going to be a piece that lots of people are going to want. Um, this is also my brother's favorite figure. We really like this figure. Lots of printing all over him. And you can see the yellow behind his eyes there, behind the mask. I think there's actually a minifig there. He looks like he's wearing a costume. And I think this is going to be a really popular one for other people too. But you do get a decent amount of him in a minifigure box. Now we have the tiger lady. There's, she has a big hair piece there with some yellow ears at the top, printing on the back, and then the same tail as Scratchy's from The Simpsons. Kind of yellowy orangish, has some black printing, lots of stripes all over. She has a whip there and, and a black belt with some gold printing around it. Um, and then she has more printing there on her face. And I'll just take off that hair piece to show you it closer. And the more printing on her face for like some whiskers. Next one I have is the Monster Rocker. He has lots and lots of printing. Has a little um, golden and silver chain with a lock there around his neck. Some printing by the toes. Um, looks like some metal and nails, dual molded arms, and then some added printing, added black printing there to represent like the sleeves all torn up. Has some stitches on his headpiece. Then on the back there has shock and roll. You can see printed on the back of his little jean jacket there. Lots of sand blue on him, and he has that little guitar, which I can pop off there and show you closer. Has like a bat there. If you look closely, I find that was really cool. Didn't notice that for a while, but I like the bat there. And then if we take off that headpiece with the huge eyebrows, you can see there's also huge eyebrows under that too. And the next one we have is Bigfoot, or Squarefoot, if that's what you like to call him. He comes with the camera there that he probably stole from a visitor trying to take a picture of him. I guess that's why there's no pictures of Bigfoot. He has some printing there on the toes, um, a lighter brown color there for the hands, and then that big headpiece, and there's no head under there, it's just the... Um, just one big headpiece there, and he is very, very, very similar to the Yeti that we got a few series ago. Um, the Yeti with the popsicle, this one has a camera, and the other one was just kind of white and blue. Um, we could see there's some teeth there in his headpiece, and lots of, like, jaggy, shaggy hair there. The next one here is the Banshee. I think this is a really cool figure. Lots of printing on the front, and those don't look like legs to me. That's a very little ghostly shape. That piece was actually introduced in the Ninjago sets. You can see there's like some sand green color going down into it, and the Spectra has like a grayish color going into it. You can see for her face and hands, has lots of um, like a very, very light turquoise, light blue color, and she has like the crying, screaming Banshee face. A bit more printing there on the back, and I'm going to take off that hair piece so we can take a closer look at it. It's kind of like a trans black. See, if I put my finger behind it in the light, you can see how it's kind of like transparent. I think that's really cool. Lots of people might really like that hair piece and the leg piece. And it actually kind of comes down in the back a little bit there, too. And the next one here is the Spectre, or the Spectre. He has, um... Lots of dark gray on him, kind of like a cloth cape there with some holes in it, and that's very soft fabric, very, very soft. You can see he also has the same um, leg piece or ghostly shape, I like to call it, as the Banshee. Comes with a chain that's more of a shiny metallic color than just the regular gray. He has a hood there, and I'll pop that off to show you his face, and his face actually glows in the dark. So let's take a look at that when it glows in the dark. So I charged his face up really, really well, and I'm in a really, really dark room. There's like no light in here, and I charged that up really, really well, and you can see it glows really cool. You can't see the rest of him because it's so dark in here. It's kind of starting to fade away now very, very slowly. But you can see that that just looks so cool with the face there. And I like how he's kind of smiling. It's not really a scary, scary look, but he is really, really cool. Let's go on to the spider lady. You can see that she has kind of like a big 
dress there, big black dress. In the back, she has the, uh, um, she has a big cape there with the collar that's plastic. Has some um, black kind of like spider web design. And you can see if it makes that noise, it's a very like plastic, thin plastic, no fabric on it. You can see on her hair piece right there, there is a little shiny spider web with a spider on it. She has a big red spider and lots of web design on her dress with a little spider necklace and more spider printing on the dress. You can see her eyes and eyeshadow kind of looks like Ursula from The Little Mermaid, if you've ever seen that movie. White skin and hands, it's kind of like glowy looking, that's all for her. Now we have our last three, and the last three are our three zombies. You can see this one's the zombie pirate. Has a skull and crossbones there on his hat, then a little hole at the top if you'd like to put a little accessory. Maybe even a friend's accessory, like a bow. That'd be funny. He has one dual molded leg that's kind of like brown and then a maroon burgundy color, and then the other one is a pig leg. He has a sword there that has lots of chips and cuts in it, and then lots and lots and lots of printing on the front. Lots of rips and stuff. Probably got in a sword fight with other zombie pirates. He has a hook for a hand and a beer, uh, beard, a gold tooth, and then a red eye and a brown eye patch. And then if we spin him around, you can see there is no other printing on the sides or back of the torso, and I'm a little surprised with that because there's so much on the front. The second last one I have here is the zombie businessman. You can see he has an issue of zombie times and it looks like the topic today is brains. He carries a black suitcase, a uh, black briefcase there with nothing in it. No printing on the back. He has kind of like a um, um, navy, navy blue suit there and then some light blue kind of rips under it. He has a gray tie, or maybe a, even a sand blue color. Glasses, you can see one red eye, and then the brown hair. That's actually a new hair piece. You can take a closer look at that, all the shaggy hair there. And our last figure of the review is the zombie cheerleader. You can see she has a green shirt there, no sleeves, and has a Z on it for zombies. Probably cheering for the zombie team. You can see she has some printing on the sides there for a skirt. And she has some pom-poms there that have kind of like some clips so she can hold on to it. You can see there's like dark green up there on the top. And then she has red eyes, a, uh, no tooth. One of her tooth is missing. And then a really cool hair piece. That's going to be a hair piece that I hope they use in the future and that lots of people are going to like. I think that's really cool. I can take it off to give you a closer look. You can see the little green elastics in there inside and pigtails. I think that's really, really cool. That's right, Lucas. In the previous clip, I did mention a giveaway. There'll be two giveaway winners, one for the zombie pirate and one for the zombie businessman. This giveaway will be open till October 12th, so you have exactly one month from now to try and win these two figures, and plus, you'll have them before Halloween if you win. To enter the giveaway, there's two simple steps. Subscribe to Lucas Bricks down below and leave a comment on this video about which one of the figures from all of Series 14 is your favorite. That's all you have to do to enter. Subscribe to Lucas Bricks and leave a comment. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.